So what happens when the primary treating physician says permanent and stationary? The primary treating physician says MMI, maximally medically improved. It's a little bit different than if a QME says it. Oftentimes, QME says PNS, you move to settlement. When a primary treating physician or a PTP says it, eh, it depends. So some PTPs will write a full med legal report, a PR4. It's a permanent and stationary report. So the treating physician will actually address whole person impairment, address apportionment, review all the medical reports in the case, use the AMA guides to address uh, impairment and address anticipated future medical care. The parties could settle based on that report. If the report is fair to both sides, parties can move forward to settlement, settle on the PTP report. Oftentimes, one side or the other will object to that report. So the PTP says, you're permanent and stationary. I know you're still in a lot of pain. You've got limited range of motion, but there's nothing wrong with you. There's no impairment. And you know what? You don't need future medical care either. Injured worker should generally say, were you crazy? I object to this report. I'm going to a QME. So the claims adjuster will send the injured worker paperwork. You can request a panel of qualified medical examiners. Go get an independent evaluation. A QME who's not on one side or the other, hasn't been treating you, isn't likely in the insurance company's MPN, will write that independent report. It could be that the insurance company objects to the PTP report. So the PTP writes a very favorable report, uses range of motion, muscle loss, grip strength loss, all types of things in the AMA guides to address your impairment. And the adjuster says, ah, oh, it's too much impairment. I want a QME. They have a right to do that, assuming they move quickly enough. Another scenario though, which is probably the more common, primary treating physician says, you know what? Injured worker is permanent and stationary. He or she should see a QME. The primary treating physician does this. Usually the insurance company will cut off temporary disability because once the injured worker is at that plateau, that MMI, PNS level, they don't owe temporary disability. So most insurance companies will cut off temporary disability. But a lot of the time what the primary treating physicians, especially in the Central Valley will say is, injured worker is permanent and stationary. He should see a QME. I don't want to write a med legal report because the primary treating physicians are focused on treatment. What can I do? What medication can I prescribe? What specialist can I refer you to? Most primary treating physicians, especially in the Central Valley, they don't want to dig into the AMA guide. Should I use table 15-3 or 15-5? Yeah, they don't want to do it. So the PTP will basically punt. Permanent stationary, someone else should address it. In that case, one of the parties is going to need to request a QME so that you can get a full med legal report. You can try to settle based on a primary treating physician report that doesn't address impairment, doesn't address apportionment, doesn't address future medical. But I'll tell you, a judge is going to be very concerned because the judge can't determine adequacy. Is the settlement 10 grand? Is that fair? It might be. Maybe the settlement should be 100 grand and that would be too low. Maybe a settlement at 20 grand is suspiciously high. They just don't know. So a judge likes to see a rateable report. Give me the whole person impairment. Give me the apportionment. Give me anticipated future medical care. If the PTP doesn't do that, they just punt and say, let a QME address it. Generally, one side or the other is going to need to get a QME. So that's what happens when a primary treating physician says PNS. If they give you a full rateable report, you can move forward to settlement. They give you a full rateable report. One side or the other objects. Maybe you go to a QME or the PTP just says PNS and I'm not addressing any of the rest of it. You're likely going to a QME. One side or the other will need to uh, request one from the medical unit. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos.